Hi Tauruses, thank you for viewing my channel today. My name is Elena. I'm doing a general spread for you. It is good from now to around, right around mid-September. I'm going to look at your current energies or something you've recently been through. If it sounds like your situation, this is your reading. You know, I can't resonate with everyone. This is general. It is good for all placements of Taurus and energies can be moved around. I'm going to start right now. Hey, Spirit Guides. Show me current energies for the sign of Taurus or something they've recently been through. For the sign of Taurus. What do you want to show me, please? Thank you. For the sign of Taurus. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you want to show me for the sign of Taurus? current energies or something they've recently been through for Taurus please thank you thank you hmm wow Taurus is under the deck I do have the ace of uh, swords oh man with the two of wands and then judgment mmm big major arcana under the deck it always sets the pace for my readings you know the ace of swords is wow Recently, or something that's recently gone by, you had a new truth that's a sword, maybe through a lot of BS. That's what I'm kind of feeling here. I have the Two of Wands, you know, um, that is a card about deciding to move forward. And with Big Old Judgment, which is the major arcana in these three cards, that is about letting go of the things that aren't serving you anymore. So you can rebirth new things. All right, let's begin. I have the Page of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles showing up. The Page of Swords is a new way of thinking. That's what I'm feeling from this. You know, it can have a lot of meanings behind it, but I start to feel things from cards. You know, they call it the spy card, the stalker card, new way of quick little thinking. I feel you have a new way of thinking. You know, because you have that Ace of Swords under the deck with judgment. You know, um, the Queen of Pentacles is the lonely queen of self-worth, stability, knowing that you are worth a lot. Mmm, love that energy. Because I have the Eight of Cups showing up, and that is about... I saw this card three times in the pre-shuffle. I just looked down and said I should have said it, but I'll show you in a minute. The Eight of Cups is about... Uh, you know, walking away from the things that have hurt you and that have not been very happy. And then right next to that, I've had the hangman, and that is something that has left you stuck. You know, you're having a hard time walking away from something. And then I have the five of shields. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not the five of shields, it's the ace. <laughs> I threw that card out of my hand. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The Ace. This is the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy. You know, walking away from something that has felt you, made you feel stuck. And the Ace of Shields is about a solid new offer that came in. Because this is the card that popped out three times in the pre-shuffle. It's the Page of Pentacles, Earth. You know, and what I'm feeling from this is you are holding on so tight to something. It's like that's all you can think about. And it's right next to that solid new offer that came in. What well, came in, Taurus? Currently, or something you've been through, the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Shields, is Earth energy. It's about something that came in towards you. And you are holding on tight to it. I mean, I don't know if you're holding on too tight to something else. Because it's just, this energy right here is like you're just so focused on one thing and one thing only with that giant pentacle in front of you. Earth. Money stability grounded stubborn energy i mean taurus you are a fixed sign and you are the bull and then i have the high priestess showing up that is the card about uh just knowing about something <sighs> with the four of shields and then i have the world in reverse oh man currently or something you've been through uh the four of shields i mean i have the four the page the four and the ace, you know, and I can see you walked away from something that made you a little upside down about it. But you are holding true to yourself here with that uh, page <laughs> and that four. I mean, that is a lot of stubborn energy, Taurus. You know, holding on too tight. That five, 
I mean, the four is just about holding back. I mean, look at these two cards. Come on, this isn't ironic. And that's all earth energy. I mean, just stubborn about something. And it was a solid new offer that came in towards you. And you have been trying to use your intuition about it. You have been trying to let it guide you because you have a new truth. You, you've been judging something and you know it's time to move forward. But I feel a lot of stuck energy here, stubborn energy. Sorry. I'm a fixed sign too, so I know. And then I have the beautiful world in reverse, which is a major arcana about a cycle not being over yet. You haven't completed something here. I don't know. I'm going to look at opposing energies. But you have not completed something here. And even though your intuition is telling you something, I don't know. Let's look. <laughs> Just going to look. All right. Okay, spirit guides. Posing energies for the sign of Taurus that have been going through these energies. Show me what has been opposing them, crossing them for the sign of Taurus. All right. What do we have crossing these energies, please? What would you like to show me for the sign of Taurus? Thank you. Crossing these energies for the sign of Taurus, please. Opposing energies for the sign of Taurus. Thank you. What else do you want to show me for the sign of Taurus? Crossing energies. Oops. Anything else you want to tell me? Anything else? Oh, they had to get those out. Okay, who's on my lap? Mm -hmm. On my lap is the Eight of Swords. So uh, across in this is something that is, a, a, it's like thoughts that is making the fear in the crossing energies. And I have the Queen of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands and I have the Page of Swords and the crossing energies as well. Are you guys like, are you watching something here? Because you had it in your energies, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yep, 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 yep. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Virgo energy right here, minor arcana. I don't know, Virgo really wanted to come out. Like it was like pushing me out. I, I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. I don't know. But that queen, <laughs> you guys have matching cards opposing you. I have the Queen of Pentacles in your energy too. I just heard, look. Wow, Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, matching cards. I have the Eight of Wands crossing you with big Leo energy under the deck. You know, the Eight of Wands is a card about moving forward or incoming. And with Leo under the deck, that is uh, opposing energies is very optimistic. But I have both these queens sitting in this stubborn energy. Let's see. Well, I have the Fool, Major Arcana Zero, with the Ten of Cups. Crossing you is about taking a new leap of faith towards happiness. It's either you, which I'm kind of feeling here, a lot of stubborn energy over here. I'm sorry, don't get mad. Or somebody else. But let me see. I have the Five of Swords. That is the card about uh, words, because swords are always words or thoughts. But this is a card about words that have hurt. And then I have the seven of wands in reverse and the opposing energies. They don't want to battle with this anymore. You know, or you don't want to battle with words anymore because this is crossing you. And if you're not dealing with somebody, then this is what you're going through. You don't want to battle with words anymore. You want to go towards a new new leap towards your happiness if you're dealing with somebody and this is opposing energies uh somebody doesn't want to battle with words that have been spoken anymore i have ace of pentacles showing up big earth energy with the star and then the ace of wands this is about having hope and faith in a solid new offer and a passionate brand new beginning because crossing you is the fool. It's zero major arcana about starting over for the ultimate happiness. But what I feel is it's something about words that have been spoken. I really do. And I feel that you're just standing in this really grounded, earthy energy. And it's kind of blocking, blocking something here. But this was current or recently something you've gone through. Because what I'm kind of seeing crossing you is about taking a new leap of faith towards your happiness. 
or somebody's taking it with you towards their happiness. With the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, this is absolutely beautiful crossing you. It's somebody who's been healing and having hope and faith. And if it's you, then you're going towards all these new beginnings. That's what's crossing this stubborn energy. All right. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm going to look at what is coming towards you because that is why we are here. Spirit guides, what do you want to show me for the sign of Taurus coming up? to September 15th, right around there. Energies for the sign of Taurus. I felt really, really, uh, I, if you're dealing with somebody, you guys are kind of being reflections of each other, but they, because you have the world in reverse. It's not a completion in your world. Even though you're holding on to this earthy, grounded energy, I'm not going to say stubborn, <laughs> you know, and uh, a lot of matching cards here, but this person or situation is about taking a new leap of faith with a new beginning and having a lot of hope and faith. Show me what is coming towards my Tauruses. One more shuffle. And I'll begin. For my Tauruses, what energies are coming in in the next few weeks, please, for the sign of Taurus that this reading is for? What energies, thank you, are coming towards my Tauruses, thank you, in the next few weeks? What you want to show me for the sign of Taurus, thank you. Anything else? Wow, there's a card sticking out. I'll get it in a minute. Anything else for the sign of Taurus? Thank you. Anything else? Hmm. Oh, well, Tauruses, in the next few weeks, you got the Six of Pentacles. You know, I mean, that just wanted to flip out and flip over in the deck, and that's a big message. That's about get ready to receive. Bottom of the deck is I have the Four of Swords with the Eight of Swords and the King of Love showing up. <laughs> With a brand new solid beginning under the deck, that Ace of Pentacles. King of Cups is water energy. It's the King of Love. The King of Love does show no emotion, but feels it deeply, I might add. Uh, coming up is somebody's uh, been taking a time out because they've been trapped in their thoughts. And that was the opposing energies. Eight of Swords. Let's just begin. I have the devil to my left, big Capricorn energy, with the five of swords in reverse, Taurus is. This is a card about remorse of something that's been said or tried to hurt you in the wrong way from something that they were caught up in. And this is a card, it's a major arcana coming in. I feel it, somebody else, I'm sorry. I, I just, I feel it. You know, it's just, I feel the remorse and I feel it, it's someone who got caught up in something that they knew was an unhealthy situation. <clears throat> I have the Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Page Swords. Three of Pentacles in reverse is about, uh, they didn't work coming in. I feel, this is what they're, this is what I feel is trying to tell me about this energy coming in. Because I still have more cards here. You know, and um, I just kind of feel like you're getting a solid offer coming in because you had that six of pentacles that wanted to stick out of the deck. You know, you are about to receive and um, it's from somebody who feels so much or you feel so much that, and you've been trapped in your thoughts. And I feel that with the devil and the five of swords, something was done to break up a union. Um, coming in is I have the page swords. This is the page of um, communication. You know, and it's the page of thinking in a new way. Because underneath all that, you guys, I had the suit, two of swords and the ten of cups. And that's about um, coming in is no longer being at a crossroads. I'm only saying no longer because you got the page. And that's a new way of thinking. You know, this is just a two. That's a page. This is a minor court card, a tiny little court card, but it's a court card. And with the Ten of Cups here, you know, um, you are going to be uh, in a position of coming out of a crossroads about your happiness. You know, um, you have a solid offer coming in. You had the Six of Pentacles stuck to me. You know, I just think that you guys are about to receive something from somebody who has a lot of remorse coming in. I really do. It might put you at a crossroads about your happiness. You know, I think that's what it is. Like coming up, you're going to be at a crossroads about your happiness. 
That's what I have. I don't know. Um, I really feel that you've been very, this earthy, stubborn. I'm sorry. I'm stubborn too. <laughs> energy because someone did you wrong. And uh, this person or energy is crossing you. They have the Ace of Pentacles with the star. That's a lot of hope and faith and healing about a new solid beginning. And you have that coming in. I can't make this up, man. I'm looking in their energies. You have this coming in. And this was in their energies. And then under all that, you guys, it was the fool. You know, taking a new leap of faith towards their happiness. And you got happiness coming in about to be offered to you, but you're going to be at a crossroads about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's begin with the oracle cards. For the sign of Taurus, please. What would you like to tell Tauruses out there? One or two cards to tie the reading together, please. For the sign of Taurus. One or two cards, please. For the sign of Taurus. Wow, you guys, they gave you a lot of cards. All right, I'll just take it. There's a message here for you. I know there is. All right, I have uh, the four of Ariel, the ace of Ariel, and the two of Ariel. Apparently, Angel Ariel has big messages for you. The four is when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, you think? <laughs> Extremes in how you save or spend money. I saw all that holding back. I saw all this. The two mm -hmm, of Ariel. Ariel says it's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. I heard making things fun. Stop holding back so much, Taurus. It's your lucky day. New resources of money. Mm -hmm. Time or support. A change in job or promotion. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. <laughs> Too many times in this reading. And I had the Ten of Cups twice. I mean, those are certain messages. If you, it resonates, it's going to resonate. The next three cards out are I have the Eight of Gabriel. Another Ace of Gabriel. And this is being divinely guided, my beautiful Taurus. <laughs> you can't rush this one. <laughs> Eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication coming in. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder, the Ace of Gabriel. They are trying to tell you something here. I hear it. I see it. Here it is, <laughs> divine guidance. The search for meaning in life, consider an, on an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. You guys, it's just, you know, if something is really hurting you recently and you've been holding on too tight to something, there's gotta be somebody you can really open up to that you trust, without a doubt, somebody. I don't care if it's the, the grocery clerk at the store that. You know, you guys have a good, whatever, there's somebody. This is what I have today for you, Tauruses. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe. It helps my channel a lot, and I'd be grateful. Thank you to all my Tauruses who have subscribed. You guys have a beautiful day and a great weekend. <clears throat> Thank you so much.